friends, I would like you to uh, try and find time to go through all the episodes of uh, uh, body ergonomics, uh, also the principles of martial art, uh, self-defense, uh, before you uh, practice uh, this, this collar grab technique that I am showing now, the single collar, and then I'll show you the double collar grab, because all of those uh, uh, episodes would, 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 would relate to uh, using uh, the body ergonomics, uh, even in this situation. Uh, so, yeah, I'll show you something very simple. Somebody comes and holds your collar uh, very strongly. Now, uh, there are several things you can do. One would be that you, uh, element of surprise, body ergonomics, yoga in action, you know the whole thing. So, you, one thing that you, would do, you could do is you could just drop your hand on him, on his wrist joint, and step back 45 quickly. The whole body turns inward. Look, whole body turns inward. This is very important. This is a surprise. Now, if it's not a surprise, if you try to do this, hold it, no, he'll tighten the wrist. Now it becomes a little difficult. He'll tighten the wrist. So the moment he does that, if you can be calm, and then that's meditation. You, you practice meditation. You do internal meditation. You need to control the adrenaline. None of this will work otherwise. So then what you do is you, you stand. You just drop your hand on him. All of you, the wrist, uh, the fingers, the elbow, shoulder, uh, the chest, hip, knees, ankle, everything turns inward and you go 45. So, and, uh, and then he's, you have your opponent down. So I'll show it to you again now. Uh, he comes and holds your collar strong. So the first thing is that just, just relax, get some space between the, the collar and, and yourself. Uh, don't let him be touching you, just get some space. See, simultaneously, you take your hand, you know, everything is gonna circle, the energy is gonna circle inward, so here. Uh, your whole body is involved in this movement. Uh, I can do it, I can, I can do it very, very fast, but it would, it would break the elbow and the wrist, and it'll probably tear the shoulder. So I'm not going to do it fast, more sure. Just, but just as a movement, I'm saying it's here. So your body weight goes onto the person. So you're twisting the whole body. So look, his wrist. You should do this before he realizes it. Otherwise, he's going to hold his wrist strong. And now I won't be able to twist. Look, well, even if the wrist is really strong, try and squeeze. You can still do it by transferring the energy like closer. You get him down closer, then it's possible. Uh, however, it's, it's anybody's guess, okay? It might, might not work, like I've always told you. Anyway, the point here is that you, as you step back, you're pulling him in because your whole body is going back. Everything is propelling inward, left towards the right. The energy is flowing this way. So his hand, elbow, shoulder, chest, everything you're locking. And as you're locking, you continue to drag him down. So you locked him down. So this is uh, one. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, very simple is that if, presence of mind, I said if you're calm, you just step away, loosen your hands, loosen your body. Just step away. And then you execute a kick. Uh, yeah. Now, Third, lock, somebody grabs you. You have that on the ear. So this is to loosen him. Somebody very strong, slap left or right, whatever it is. A quick slap followed by this. And the moment you're done this, it's the time to get away. You're not gonna stay in, it's not for fighting. Like I said, there are hundreds of techniques, right? So I'm showing you one more. You can, if you're very quick, you, you pull his forearm inward. You see, uh, even he didn't know I was gonna do this, so we, we don't plan if you can believe that, yes. Look, you, you take your palms up and you bring his elbow, forearm, and shoulder downward, leave the wrist there, here. Now, in case he's still holding on, you twist the body, lock him. Uh, yes. Hold it again, yeah. You can also punch. 
So that's a simpler thing. If somebody holds, you don't have to try and release the collar at all. I mean, let him hold. So you go and punch, whatever you want to do. That's, that's very simple. You can also step aside, lock his neck, and knee kick, use your knee into his body. Thank you, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you never miss any of the exciting videos from Chi is Key.